Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play overblows. I am using a C diatonic harmonica. You need to be comfortable with the draw bends on holes 1 to 6 and the blow bends on holes 7 to 10 because they're really going to help with your technique when we look at this. If you're not comfortable with those, I have free YouTube videos on them, so check out the links in the description. We're going to be trying to overblow hole 6 blow on our C harp. If you do have a different key of harp or you want to try a different hole, that's okay, but this is the one I found with my students is usually the one that comes first. So the first method we're going to try, I'm calling the draw bending method. We're going to use our draw bending technique and then switch to a blow. So the first thing we need to do is bend the six draw. Okay, and we're going to stay with that bend, so kind of hold that bend. Okay, and then we're going to keep that shape, keep that pressure, everything that's going on. The only thing we're going to change is we're going to start breathing out. So the only change is the air direction. And if we're lucky, if we keep it as exactly as it is, we should get the overblow. So instead of hearing the G note, we should hear a B flat or an A sharp. So that's our sixth draw bend. If I then start blowing, there's my overblow. Doesn't sound especially nice. It's not the best overblow, um, but it's an overblow. Okay, and the note I'm looking for is that B flat. So the easiest way to check whether that's right is to take a B flat harp and play a seven blow. Now, my overblow doesn't sound as nice, it doesn't sound as stable, and it's also a bit flat. Okay, they tend to come out flat. You can learn to bend them up. I'm not going to talk about that today, I just want to talk about the basics. If you want to get more into the depths of overblowing, I have a full course on it and uh, it's included in my free trial of my harp school, so check out the link to that in the description. So that's our first method. We're trying to maintain everything we're doing to hold that draw bend and then just change the air direction. So that shows why it's so important that you can draw bend to begin with because you need that control, that ability to affect the, the note, that ability to um, kind of control the pressure and, and the air flow as well. But the overblow is not a bend in the sense that it's not gonna bend down to that note. We are just kind of plucking it out of thin air almost. It just kind of jumps out, pops out above where the normal note would be on the instrument. So hopefully that draw bending method has worked for you. But if not, we're going to try a second method now called the blow bending method. Now, this hopefully will work better for you if you feel you need the technique broken down and you need to understand a bit more about the mechanics of it. So this is going to be a slower method and hopefully it'll help you if the first one didn't. So for this one, we're going to take the six blow itself, so we're not going to play a draw first. We're going to take that six blow and we're going to try to bend it, so try to blow bend it. Now, if you're familiar with draw bends and blow bends, you'll know that we don't usually blow bend the six blow. It won't actually blow bend, not in the way that the higher notes will. It will give you kind of a micro tone, but not a kind of new melodic note. But that doesn't matter for our um, methods here or for our purposes here. It's going to help us anyway. So the first thing is to just try and slowly bend that note down. You will hear a slight movement. So, so you can hear it move. It's going a little bit. Now, there'll come a point when that note won't play anymore, or it will, what we call, choke. 
So the blow reed will kind of stop vibrating for you. At that point, don't stop. Keep trying to bend that further. Even though we know it won't bend further, and even though we're not trying to make the note go lower, we're actually trying to make this note higher, that pop out, this is what we need to do. So keep trying to make that kind of go past that uh, point of silence almost. So that's where it's choking. I'm going to keep going. And at first, when you keep going, you'll just get more silence. But keep trying to make it go lower and lower. Not through force, not through um, brute force or strength. Just imagine you've got a blow bend that will go really, really low, a big kind of dip, you know, like the 10 blow or even further than that. Just imagine you could keep moving it. And if you go far enough, you should get the overblow pop out. Again, if I compare it with my seven blow on my B flat harp, pretty close, it, it, it was flat. And again, not a great tone. I'm just giving you the basics of the technique here and I haven't settled this harp especially to help. Um, golden melodies as I'm using here are pretty good out of the box. A lot of different harps now will overblow quite well, but golden melodies were traditionally one of the harps that players would use if they wanted to overblow. So that's the blow bending method, trying to push through that uh, choke and get that note to pop out. If you do get that note to come, then you want to try and maintain that shape, the pressure, the mouth shape, the tongue position, in order to keep that note. So they are quite unstable, especially to begin with. They're hard to control. So you do have to be very precise. Remember when you were learning to bend, how difficult it felt to keep that bend there. It's like that again, but maybe even more so because they're so unstable as it were. So I usually find that one of those methods, one or the other works for my students. I hope that one has worked for you. Let me know in the comments which one helps you more or if you have any questions or comments or if you're still struggling, I'd love to hear from you and I'll try and answer as many as possible. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like because that helps YouTube know to share it with more people who might enjoy it. And I put out free harmonica lessons every week, so if you'd like to get those, then subscribe and click the bell. I am offering a free trial of my harmonica school at the minute, 30 days, absolutely free. Try it out, see if it's for you. And that includes a course all about overblows and how to do them and how to use them in your playing. So do check out the link to that as well in the description. I'll see you again for another harmonica lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. Cheers.